Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you a 2017 Cimarron Porsche, Pro, wow, Pro Star four horse LQ. So this one's a side load with the full width rear tack on it. But we'll go ahead and get started right up front here. We've got our adjustable coupler. So that goes up and down. We wanna make sure you're riding as level as possible on that tow vehicle. We got our safety chains, our battery breakaway cable, all that safety stuff right up there. And then coming underneath here, right away, you'll see this door I've got dropped down. This is our battery compartment box. So we got three different batteries. So you'll see the two house batteries and then an air ride battery. So this trailer is sitting on air ride suspension. And we'll talk about more, more about that when we get back to the axle area. And then inside here, you got your battery cutoff switch. So it's nice because you can get this locked up and you can actually lock it with the key so no one's be, being able to mess with your batteries, turn them on or off, take them from you, any of that. Down below, we got two 20 pound propane tanks, our full size spare tire, and then we've got two hydraulic jacks. So that way you can level yourself as much as you need to. If you're parked on some uneven ground and you're staying in it, you know, you don't want to be on level or for me, I get motion sickness if it's a little unlevel. So being able to level that out just helps out big time. So this one is going to be a 15 foot, six inch short wall, and it is a Pro Star by Outlaw Conversions. So this was before they changed the name over to the Pro Line by Outlaw. So this one's a Pro Star. But we'll go ahead and step up in here into the LQ. So this is a non slide which is really nice because you're not having to worry about your slide out. You're not having to get that pushed out or anything. I mean, when you park, get your generator turned on, get plugged in, whatnot, and you're good to go. So as you can see, we've got two seating areas. We've got the couch and that folds down into a bed. So if you wanted to jackknife that down, you have an additional sleeping space. And then over on that left-hand side, you've got a dinette and that table drops down and you can make an additional sleeping space out of there. So we're still keeping this trailer pretty shorter, pretty, pretty short on the overall length, but you're still getting two additional sleeping spaces and then we're not having that slide out either. Over there to the right, you'll see your little kitchenette area. You've got your two burner cooktop right here and this opens up, it's got the glass over top, which I really like having that glass over top because if you're not using this cooktop, you are able to use that as counter space. Got our kitchen sink. And then up above there, we've got our microwave. So over the bed or over the gooseneck area, you'll see the queen size bed. So that's an outlaw queen. Very comfortable beds. Just going to tell you that right now. You got some storage area up there above the gooseneck. So that way you can get some stuff out of the way, get some clothes in there. And then you do have that little mirror as well. You can probably see me in. So over here on this right hand side, we've got our refrigerator and freezer. So that opens up. It's a bigger refrigerator that we can fit in these, these LQs. And then you get the bigger freezer too that you're able to use. We've got our radio system right there with the TV up above. Something I did want to point out that Outlaw does on all their trailers, or majority of them, they do put these hat racks above the door. Come in handy big time. Keep your hat off the table, keep it off the couch, keep it up out of the way and in good condition just being up there. Over here on the side, you'll see our generator control. And then you've got some light switches and your awning switch. Some more storage up here above the dinette area. So that's the nice thing about Outlaw, they're trying to stick storage wherever they can. And that way you're able to take as much stuff with you as you need to. Um, we know it's hard when you're on the road and you want to bring all your stuff from home, but it's kind of hard when you're in the smaller space. So being able to have extra storage space and just stick in that storage space wherever they can fit it just comes in handy big time. All the shades are going to be day and night shades. So you're going to have the dual coming down. So. That one's more of the day shade. And then if you want to get some more privacy, you have the night shade that comes down. Over here, we've got our thermostat and its controls. And then right down here, we have our gray, black, and fresh tank, and then our battery controls. So we can see how much is are in each of those as you click. 
And then we've got our water pump and hot water heater. And that is a 12 volt on demand hot water heater. You've got a 60 gallon fresh water tank, 30 gallon black, 30 gallon gray. So I'm going back there into the bathroom. You got the toilet, you got a little, um, you know, vanity area. You're able to get your makeup on, get your day, day face on, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. You got the mirror back behind the toilet. And then we actually have a pass-through door going into that last stall in this one. So over here, we've got the closet that opens up, plenty of storage space. You're able to get some clothes hung up out of the way. And then I just wanted to open this real quick so you guys can see. Coming into this first stall, we got the pass-through door. So nice thing about this, we've got the escape door on this first stall, and then you have the pass-through door. So if you're at a show and if you're like me and like to try and keep things as clean as possible, being around horses, being around animals, it's kind of impossible to do. So what I would do is use this as kind of a mudroom. I'd drop my boots in here, I'd be able to walk right into the shower, keep the mud and the dirt and dirtiness out of the trailer as much as possible, and then that way cleaning time cuts in half. And then over here we do have a shower. So full size shower, it's a serviceable, you know, area to be able to use bathroom space wise. We're not getting overly big, but you're still getting all that you need in the bathroom in order to use it to your fullest potential. So anything used that we get in, unless we state otherwise, we're gonna send it through both our shops. So on our shop side here, we're gonna take the wheels off, we check the brakes and the bearings, we replace and repack if needed. If the tires are over five years, worn or non-matching, we'll go ahead and replace all tires on them. Then we'll go ahead and put a wheel alignment on them, make sure they're hauling straight for the new owner, go through all your doors, window latches, all of the stuff on the interior or exterior, everything back in the stall area, make sure all your dividers are latching how they should, replace pads if needed. Just We just do a really good once over on the trailer, make sure it's operating how it needs to be. And then interior wise, we send it across the street to our RV side and they're gonna go through all your systems in here. So your AC, your furnace, your refrigerator, LP, I mean, all of that, we make sure that everything is operating how it should be, like new condition, but for a used trailer. And that's kind of a nice little assurance that you're getting when you're buying a used trailer from us. So we'll go ahead and start out here on the exterior of the trailer. So we've got an electric awning up above. You got two speakers, which is really nice when you have some downtime, you're just hanging out in the sun, you wanna get that awning out. You can get that awning out, get the tunes playing, hang out, barbecue, drink some beer, you know, all the fun stuff that you can do. And then coming over here to the hip side of the trailer, you'll see we've got two drop downs and then two bus windows. So adding those two additional drop downs, they help that extra airflow go through the trailer, keep your horses cooler and keep them in, you know, more comfortable while driving. So right here, we've got our side ramp that goes up into the horse area. So right now, I will say this real quick, we have the air ride engaged. So this ramp's gonna be a little bit steeper than if we were to have that air ride in the lower position. And so if you are to lower that air on this, drop it down, this, this angle won't be nearly as steep. Why we're on the air ride, I'll talk about that real quick. So we got two 9,000 pound air ride axles. So those 9,000 pound air ride axles, it, what it is, it's a rubber torsion axle with your airbag on top. And what that airbag does is it's gonna allow some more cushion for your horses and for you in the pickup when you're driving. So your horses are gonna get off the trailer in better condition, their joints aren't gonna be as stiff, they're not gonna be as, you know, just stiff from a long trailer ride. So that air ride helps them out big time. And then it's just an overall comfort ride too. And then we got the 17 and a half inch wheels on there. So now we'll walk up here into the stall area. So since it is a side load, this is how you're gonna walk into it. Over on the side, we've got our two partial dividers. And then that first one is gonna be the stud stall. So you got the airflow divider up top, and then you got pads as well. Having this stud stall on the first one, if you're only hauling three horses, it comes in handy big time. 
You can use that more as a storage stall if you wanted to, or you can add the fourth horse in here for you. Um, but being that full length stud stall, you can put stuff on the floor and it's not gonna be rolling back underneath the other horse's legs. That's gonna help prevent it from, from coming back here. So you do have that option to use it that way, or if you wanna haul four horses, you could do so too. So then you got your two partial dividers. They're gonna be padded on both sides as well. So for one, comfort of the horse is in mind. Leaning against the pad, you know, you're stopping, accelerating, all that. They're gonna lean back and forth in the trailer. So they're able to use this as a little bit of cushion. And then two doubles as um, kind of a rub prevention for your lighter colored horses. It's gonna help, you know, keep that, that aluminum from staining their hips and their sides a little bit more than if it was just that solid aluminum divider. So airflow on those two. And then we do have our mangers. So hay bunk up top, manger under, underneath. So you've got storage underneath when it comes to the outside, we'll see that. But you're able to throw your hay in there, throw some grain in there, whatever you need to do. And then it does have a drain plug in this last stall. And then that way you are able to to spray it out and get that water out of there and it's just gonna go straight down a tube to the ground. Roof vents on each stall. So those push forward and they push backwards. So push them forward, get that air flowing in, push them back, get that air flowing back out and just keep that overall airflow going for the horses. You got a bumper bar up here as you're coming out. That way if somebody does decide to rear up as they're coming out, they're gonna hit this instead of the frame of the trailer. And trust me, I had that happen before and didn't have one of those. And my mare, thank goodness, she didn't rip off a bunch of skin, but she got herself right above the eye. So that was not fun. So coming around here to the rear of the trailer, we've got our big back tack with our 50-50 door opening. You'll see right away, we've got our swing out saddle rack with the four tiers on it. We can add additional tiers to this. They'd be the newer version of the saddle tier but we can add an additional one if wanted or needed. And then over here, we got our swing out blanket pole. So this swings in and out, and that way you're able to layer your blankets on a lot easier when it's swung out. Um, grab one from the middle, just whatever you need to do. And then it just pushes back and rides in that position. On this left-hand door, we've got a brush box down below. So a brush box, they just come in handy being able to get stuff off the floor stop it from rolling around, going everywhere in your trailer. You're able to get your fly spray, your hoof picks, brushes, liniment, all that stuff. Get it off the floor and get it into a spot. And nice thing about this one, whoever the previous owner was, they actually had an additional one added above this other one on this right hand door. So there's two on this side, so three total. In that tack room, we've got our full partition wall with bridle hooks all the way across and then the carpet all the way around the walls. So having that carpet for one is gonna keep your trailer in good condition. And then for two, anything you have hanging on there, they will you know, get some swishing and swaying as you're driving and in transport. So having that carpet down below is gonna help prevent some of that from happening and just keep everything in better condition. You got the two steps going into there as well. So having those steps just makes it, makes life a whole lot easier being able to step easily up into that tack room. On the rear up here, you'll see the generator box. So this trailer does come equipped with an Onan 4000 gas generator. And then while we're up there, you can also see the hay pod. So this one's got an enclosed hay storage. You know, you can get your hay up there, you can get your grain up there, shavings, whatever you need to take with you. You can stick it up there, it's weatherproof. So you're gonna be able to keep it clean, keep it away from water and everything and just more storage for you. So coming over here, you'll see I've got these doors open for the mangers. So that was that feed bunk inside that you saw underneath here is gonna be the storage area. So additional storage on this trailer. I mean, they did not skimp on storage. So you can definitely bring a lot of stuff with you. We have the option to add some bridle hooks into these mangers and that way you can have some additional hanging spaces if you wanted to. But that storage going all the way across those three stalls. And then with these drop downs, so these drop down open up, you've got your jail bars up top so your horses aren't going to be sticking their heads out if you don't want. 
they pop into place in that way they're not gonna be sitting there slapping hitting against the trailer while you're in transit and then the cool thing is that they actually come down and that way if you wanted to offer your horses some additional feed offer them some water just open it up and check on them while you're stopped you can do so as well so being able to do that that's a big one for me um, just checking on horses while you're traveling traveling stressful not only for the horses but for the humans too so being able to check on them just comes in handy big time and then we got an LED light up above and then right here is going to be your escape door for that first stall so this is where you'd be able to access this from the outside if you did want to use it for a mudroom or if you wanted to needed to load a horse up in there that is a little bit you know newer to loading you can use that escape door to get out quickly check on the horses i mean there's so many different uses with having that escape door to access the horse area comes in handy big time so this trailer we're going to be, be sitting at seven feet seven inches tall we're sitting at eight feet wide. And then we have an on the floor length of 34 feet, nine inches. So like I said earlier, this is a 15 foot, six inch short wall. Pro Star by Outlaw Conversions, it's 2017. And then stock number that we've got on this one is gonna be 5U230682. And that's 5U230682, 2017 Cimarron Pro Star four horse living quarter. So we will get these in on trade occasionally. Um, you never know what's gonna come in and when it might be coming in or possibility of coming in, whatnot. So um, if you want us to keep our eye out for you on something, don't hesitate to reach out. If you have any questions on anything on our lot, anything you see online, anything you're looking to build, just don't hesitate to reach out. You can call me at my desk phone that's down below. That's 303-684-3451. You can call or text me at my cell phone and that's 970-218-5996. Or shoot me an email to morgan, M-O-R-G-A-N dot null, K-N-O-L-L -L, at transwest.com. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and I hope you have a great day.